Yeah, so this is a little follow-up uh, from Dave's um, teardown with uh, Mita. Uh, I just wanted to explain to you what's the use of the three, um, you know, the three connectors you can see there. Um, well, normally when a pin meter is installed in um, at the client's house, you know, um, the only things connected are the three, three phases: L1, L2, L3, and the neutral, and maybe you know the um, day-night. Um, switch uh, but that's it you know they the, the the things are always closed so you always have the three things closed and the meter runs out normally so you now we tend to the current there with the transformers and um well the the, the cable there you, the three cables you can see there that the cables go here you know to your little um you know yellow black uh just the the cables are go there and they can sense uh, the voltage, so yeah, the meters knows the current, the voltage, and it can do its thing to 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 operate. Uh, well, the use of the um, of the shunts there, because you can unscrew them and slide them off, is that normally, when well, in Switzerland, that's the that's the case. Uh, each year, you have to take some meters of the market of the client's house, you know, to calibrate them, and if they're way off. Um, of mark of track, uh, you have to replace all the meters from all the clients, you know, all the model, or the you know the model the thing. So each year they take meters and they put them on a calibration stand bench to test them, you know, with uh, reactive current, all sorts of current. So what they do here, I've got uh, the bench there. So that's uh, the, the meters, they're in series, you know, and uh, you've got the a current generator hooked to a computer so yeah so there you've got a, a computer and uh you know the current generator what it does is that it makes current like 100 amps well you've got all, all the program that does different um different currents and different voltages and but the thing is that it does it makes 100 amps there and the thing is that the the, the computer well the so that, that's a close up there so you've got a phase that goes there the meter and goes out um, when you've got the current generator here, the potential here is very low. So you, like, is low, very low, because if you make you go higher, then the power dissipated is lot, and the current generator wouldn't be able to handle like hundred amps times two hundred volts. You know, well, it's a loss of power, and it's not very efficient. So uh, what 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 you do is that you connect the phases in and out you know so that's a f phase one here phase two goes there and then you, you what you've got you've got a rail here with all the voltages for each phase so phase one has got phase one has got the voltage there phase two is here you know for each meter so what you do is that you unscrew the little um, the separator there and then here you plug the the um, voltage sense here so the meter well it knows because because it, do, it doesn't take then these voltages it takes the voltage there so he has got the, um, the current flowing through the um, transformer the three voltages and the neutral and he can calculate the thing so you, you, well you know uh, when you've got the power equals u times e times cos phi and uh, well u well, it doesn't take this U. Normally, in a customer's house, what you've got, you've got the meter there, uh, you've got a phase here, out, and then you've got the neutral. You know, so the meter normally takes U here. The U is the potential between these two, you know. But when you want to test the meters, that's the reference point, neutral. And then it, w with the pegs you've got here, it can calculate the voltage of each, each uh, phase. Uh, so you know, U is the thing here, and E is the um, current there. You know, you got you got here. You got a transformer, so it knows all the thing. Um, so that's it. You know, so yeah. So then, then the machine there is is it's, it's like a welding station. You know, it's a lot of current, but very low um, hampered. So yeah, you, you could touch the cable; it wouldn't do anything. Uh, unless you don't touch the um, 
the voltage cables, you know. Yeah, so normally when you've got uh, an office, um, electrical office, you've got a big bench with 20 meters each hooked in the uh, series with a an, an, uh, sense cable there to, um, yeah, port the voltage to each meter. Normally, the current flowing through there, there's no current or, you know, just a bit of current to power the meter. But normally, that's just a sensing point. It's not a current point. Nothing, just a sensing. Normally. Uh, another thing, just, you, well, in the meters, you can see there's uh, two um, LEDs, LEDs, you know. Well, it, it, it's an IA LED communication port. Because normally, when you've got the case that goes there, that that's a metal ring, and you've got like a, you know, like a head that goes like that clack, it's, it's clamped, the head is clamped to the meter and what what we do normally is that when the meter is on the bench you've got like little heads that go there and go to the computer so the computer can ask the meter what's the current consumption, what's the, you know, everything. Uh, you, well the protocol is that the, the computer sends a password to the meter and if the password is good, you got different level of access, you know, to access the crowd, the current power, to reset the power, to change everything. And uh, yeah, the current bench there, what it takes with re reactive power, um, effect, you know, every type of power to check if the meter is good. And uh, that's it, I think. Bye.